Since 1956, DAR has worked on over 4,500 projects in more than 40 countries, and looking back on that experience, it becomes clear that all construction projects have one thing in common. No matter how different the project seems to be, no matter how different the sites are, all construction projects will inevitably have the same launching point, and that starting point is the soil. For so many years, geotechnical and structural engineers around the world have invested significant effort to simulate this soil structure interaction in the most accurate way possible. With evolving science and technology, current design methods are empowering engineers and granting them tools that allow them to represent this soil structure interaction in the best manner possible. Yet the current methods are not always perfect and still include series of assumptions which give way to some inaccuracy. At DAR, and building on the experience of our geotechnical and structural engineers in foundation design, we sought to optimize this design by working with partners to design a new tool. A real change maker, this tool marked a paradigm shift in our design practice, so much so that we can now distinguish our practice in shallow foundation design into two parts. How it was before this tool, and how it became after that tool. When designing the foundation of a structure, Geotechnical and structural engineers aim at understanding how the founding ground and the proposed structure will interact with one another. Using a structural software like CSI's SAFE, the structural engineers model the proposed shallow foundation, whether isolated, strip, or raft, and provide the loading stresses that the building or the infrastructure will apply on the ground. The geotechnical engineers will then manually import those loads with the corresponding coordinates and magnitude into their own distinct software, such as Rock Science's Settle 3 or its equivalents, so as to determine how the founding ground will react to these loading stresses and to simulate how the ground will behave when subjected to the structure load. Geotechnical engineers will thus deduce what we call the modulus of subgrade reaction, also known as K. Now traditionally, when geotechnical engineers receive loading stresses from the structural engineers, we tend to approximate the complex variability of the load by averaging the values and simplifying the design process. The problem, of course, is that these approximations and simplifications can affect the accuracy of that design. When evaluating the soil structure interaction, it became obvious that the conventional practice foundation design methods with uniform average modulus of subgrade reaction hold some uncertainty and possible overdesign. Owing to DARA's extensive experience in designing structures from small ones to iconic landmark towers, our teams have practiced various design techniques and continuously work on optimizing the design procedures. To solve these issues and improve better outcomes for our clients, the DARA team worked on a tool that would allow designers to accurately model the soil structure interaction, which would ultimately save materials, save costs, and create a more optimized design in a shorter time frame. The solution. It was in early 2020, at the beginning of the world pandemic crisis, that DARA's geotechnical and structural engineers from Egypt, Lebanon, and India offices started looking into enhancing this design process. Achieving this target necessitated the contribution of various experts from Rock Science Canada and from academic sector, Lebanese American University, LAU. The team developed a new multiple load importer tool that speeds up the process, saving time on data entry and enabling both structural and geotechnical engineers to create more accurate designs. The created tool links Rock Science Settle 3 with CSI Safe allows structural and geotechnical teams to automatically export and import the enormous amounts of data, including the foundation geometry and batch loads with associated coordinates, magnitude and elevation. Structural engineers also use this tool to export the modulus of subgrade reaction at every single node of the foundation mesh, providing an incredibly accurate representation of the settlement and ground response, and allowing the structural engineers to model the foundation design properly and accurately. When we compare the outcomes of our models, for example, those generated by this tool with those done manually using approximate values, the difference is evident, and the confidence in the output becomes higher and all that with a significantly reduced design time, which is now performed in a few hours, when using this tool compared to a few days of iterative design process, as it was the case earlier without the tool. This new and innovative tool is now available for all geotechnical and structural engineers around the world. 
It streamlines manual tasks like importing and exporting data. It saves the designers precious time. It also empowers designers to create a more objective analysis, preserve the spatial variability of the founding terrain, optimize designs for the project they're working on, and even save on costs and materials. And of course, that benefit can be extended to every construction project, because after all, all of these projects will inevitably start through that very first point. Thank <laughs> you.